Welcome back everyone, I'm Joe the Lawnmower and today I'm gonna to give you a project lawn update on the GCI Cool Blue that we seeded on September 11th. So let's get started. So today's video is going to be a quick one. They have a lot of cars that go up and down the street, so I have to talk quickly. So right here behind me, this is day 38 germination right here with the GCI Cool Blue. GCI Cool Blue is an 85% tall fescue and a 15% uh, Kentucky bluegrass. And as you can see, it filled in really nicely. Uh, they are super happy with it. Um, as there are some weeds and clover and things throughout there, of course, um, but in the springtime, we are going to address all that. Um, they are going to be using either plant specialty or organic turf trade. I haven't determined which company I want to use at the project loan and myself yet at my house, but that's what we're going to do in the springtime. So as you can see, it's really thickened up right here behind me. Uh, today, we're going to throw down a fertilizer app we're going to throw down as scott's uh, winter guard it's a 32010 our soil temperatures right now in south jersey they're all the way down to 58 degrees um so i'll go into in a second why we're going to be using the scott's uh, winter guard uh today um but as you can see it looks really great right here behind me um they are super happy with it and again we'll address those weeds and different things like that come the springtime with either organic turf trade or plant specialties so shout out to those companies again i'll leave links to those companies below so you can go check them out they're right in new jersey again as you guys know i really want to support local new jersey companies so that's what we're going to be doing next year with either the project loan right here right here behind me my sister's house or my house as well so either one of those companies will be going with, they are great companies. I'm not paid to say that. I just honestly just want to really support local New Jersey companies right in my home state. So what I'm going to be doing is a couple days before Halloween, I'm going to come back out here and spray some liquid iron. I'm going to either be spraying the Midnight by the Lawn Whisper, his 1200, or either a uh, main event dry iron. Uh, I just sprayed that on my house, the, the main event dry iron, a couple days ago. Um, and it looks really great. I mean, it, it's really dark right now. Um, and it's continuing to get dark, which is awesome. So I'm gonna either come over and just spray it with my spray mate, either one of those. A couple days before Halloween, they get a lot of trick-or-treaters at their house because of their street. It's a very busy street um, in their development right here. So I really want this lawn to really just pop out. Um, they'll cut it, obviously, before I spray it. Um, but that's our plan. A couple days before Halloween is spray some liquid iron. So this thing is popping. So like I said earlier, we're going to be throwing down the Scott's Turf Builder right here. This is the Winter Guard. It is a 32010, like I was saying. Um, it is a 32010. It's a 37.5 pound bag, and it covers 15,000 square feet. But the real reason why I'm throwing this down today is the ingredients in here, the nitrogen. There's 21.8% urea nitrogen, which is a quick release nitrogen. So we're going to see some top growth. We're going to be able to get uh, this grass to fill in a little bit uh, quicker and sooner. Um, so that's really what I'm looking for is a high urea nitrogen, which we have in here, as you can see, 21.8% urea nitrogen. So we're going to be throwing this down at probably about three pounds per 1,000. That will give us about a pound of nitrogen uh, per 1,000 square feet. So as you can see here, here's the Scott's Turf Builder. It's actually called their lawn, uh, lawn fall lawn food. It's our winter guard right here. Um, you guys probably, I don't know if most people probably have seen Scott's products before, but as you can see, this is what it looks like inside. And as you can see, it's very small pellet size, which is awesome. It gets can get down in that soil canopy. Um, urea, straight urea kind of looks like this, a white uh, pellet size like this. But I wanted a high uh, urea nitrogen in here just to push some more top growth, push that bluegrass that's in that GCI Cool Blue, the spread if it can any more. Uh, just to fill in some bare areas before the winter time. So we're in the backyard right now, and as you can see, it looks really great as well behind me. I mean, it's really greened up, it's thickened up, um, which is awesome. They're super happy with the GCI Cool Blue. Uh, they actually just commented to me that they they like it's almost like they they feel it's very soft uh, to the touch. Um, and it's very soft, you know, when they walk on it. Um, which, hey, that's their comment. That's not my comment, but hey. If that's what they like, that's what they like. Um, so it's looking really great back here. Um, obviously, you could see some patches, you know, in certain spots, um, but that's what that's what we have to deal with. They do have dogs, so the dogs are tearing it up in certain spots. <laughs> um, I'll show you one in a second. So nothing we can do. They have dogs. They the dogs. They have two dogs, so they have to come out here. 
obviously to go to the bathroom um, but overall they're extremely happy and as you can see I mean it's really green it's looking great um, and again we're going to continue to feed it in the springtime and we're definitely going to treat those weeds um, and again either with plant specialty or organic turf trade either two of those companies will be using their products in the project lawn right here if you guys remember from the earlier video this area right here right here behind me i mean it was completely bare dirt uh we we pretty much scarify it and detached it all the way down to dirt um and as you can see i mean it looks really great it greened up really nicely um i'll show you a before right here this was the day of uh this the fall overseed that we did on september 11th never forget so here was the before and then you can see that today, I mean, it looks really great. They're extremely happy with this area. The dogs have really tear, tore this up a little bit right here, um, but there's nothing we can do. Um, like I said, they have dogs. Um, and then their doing dog, obviously, dug a hole right here. Um, nothing we can do. Um, but overall, extremely happy with the progress so far. The backyard's looking really great. So we're gonna continue to feed it, like I said earlier, with the 32010 with the high uh, urea nitrogen that's in it push as much growth as we can and hopefully get this thing looking even better before the end of the season so just a quick video for you guys today i always want to update you guys on the project lawn um, because it is a different seed that i threw down at my house here again we did with the gci cool blue um, so we'll be re uh, you know we'll be assessing this throughout the next year in 2022 see how it does in the summertime see if it can hold up to the heat um, i've had experience in my past with the gci tall fescue at my own house and personally, it didn't do really well this past summer um, at my house, and that's why I went with the Tuckahoe Turf uh, brand, uh, the uh, Mountain View seed that I did at my house. So we'll be access, uh, you know, assessing it throughout the su uh, summertime next year, and we'll get a game plan going into the fall over seed next year and see what seed we want to put down uh, next year in fall 2022. But like I said, so far they are extremely happy with the GCI Cool Blue. They said it's soft to the touch and the feel. Um, those are their words, not mine, um, but that's great. I mean, if they're happy with it, that's the only thing that really matters at the end of the day. Uh, you know, when you go to do these projects in your house, um, you know, in your house, inside your house or outside your house, in the grass, you know, landscaping, anything like that, grass work. Um, and the main thing, in my opinion, is as long as you're happy with the, with the result and at the end result of your project, that's all that really matters. Um, so again, they are happy with what they're seeing so far with the GCI Cool Blue. Um, so that's all they could ask for, um, and that's all I can ask for, is as long as they're happy with the end result, that's all that matters at the end of the day. So again, just to recap, we're gonna throw down the 32010. Uh, it's a high urea nitrogen fertilizer. I just wanna try and push as much top growth and spread as much as that Kentucky bluegrass as we can before the end of the season. Again, our soil temps are all the way down to 58 degrees right now in south jersey and it doesn't look like it's going to really get much better um the forecast right now it's start we're starting to see trends uh in the 60s right now as a daytime temperature and a nighttime in like almost the 40s uh it looks like um so that's why i wanted to get down that quick release nitrogen today um, and again i will be throwing down some sort of uh, liquid iron or a dry uh, iron as well through my backpack sprayer before halloween just so that front lawn pops for those uh, trick-or-treaters. I'll be doing the same at my house. So again, I'll be doing another update video before the end of the season so you guys can see the results from today, throwing down that 32010, and as well as throwing down that liquid iron or some sort of iron that I'll be using uh, before Halloween. If you found today's content helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. It helps people to find my videos and, the help and find my channel. And if you have any questions or concerns, please comment below. I always try and get back to everyone. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.